Are you a growing and scaling company and you're thinking you need a CFO, but you're not ready to hire a full-time one yet? Maybe a CFO for hire is what you need. Today on the Accounting for You podcast, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. Welcome to the Accounting for You podcast, brought to you by the accounting firm of Adkins and Reynolds CPAs. This podcast is designed to provide relevant tax and accounting information to help you and your business succeed. If you enjoy listening in, please like and subscribe to our channel. Now, on to the show. Welcome back to the Accounting for You podcast. I am Chris Reynolds, CPA and partner with Adkins and Reynolds CPAs. And I am Jay Adkins, CPA and partner with Adkins and Reynolds CPAs. Well, today we're talking about CFO for Hire Services. And this is a special niche that uh, CPA firms are in. And this is something that not you know every business needs. You know, not, not a lot of small businesses have CFOs. Wouldn't you agree? Right. Yeah, this is going to be probably for ones as they grow bigger. Right. So, uh, and as a business grows and scales itself, we're talking about, you know, CFO is going to be in there and they're not in there looking at the uh, nitty gritty details every day uh, of a business. I mean, you know, obviously they're, they're involved with that, but they're the big picture guy in your organization. And as a business grows, uh, you need somebody that's going to be watching the big picture financial, you know, financial picture for your business. And the CFO, which stands for Chief Financial Officer, you know, and like you're, you know, you for that title, so you know what we're talking about here. Um, that's what they're kind of involved with. Uh, but as that business grows and that uh, role becomes necessary, uh, it may be in that uh, g- growth point that they can't afford a full time CFO because most CFOs are going to make a lot of money. When yes. you when you think yes, they do. Yeah. So. That's where these part-time CFO for hire services come in, and we can fulfill that role and come in as your part-time CFO or for different different uh, levels of service there that we can provide. So we're going to kind of break into that today and talk a little bit about uh, those types of services. So first off, I think we probably need to talk about maybe kind of like different levels of a CFO for hire service. So we've got... Um, Let's start with, uh, you know, interim CFO services. So this is where you've got a maybe an existing CFO for uh, that you're working with or that's employed by your business, and then they have to step away. Maybe they've retired. Maybe they quit, took another job. Uh, maybe they're uh, sick for a while. You know, they have a health issue, and that's where we can kind of come in and fulfill that role. Yeah, most organizations are not going to have one someone who can step into this position. Uh, they may have accounting staff, may have a full accounting department, but this is a specialized position uh, and an executive director, a business owner, whatever the organization may have, may not have the ability or the time to do this. And you need someone who specializes in this service. Right. And so in this type of service, uh, we come in maybe for just that interim time period to help them, you know, gather their, uh, you know, the time so they can uh, actually go out and hire a full-time CFO, but where we can come in and work with that business or that organization and provide the services that they were previously getting with a full-time employee and kind of bridge the gap. Let's say that's the bridge the gap type service. Um, and that's what that would be. Uh, the other would be just a part-time CFO. So like we were talking about a, a growing business that needs this, but you're not quite ready to hire a full-time CFO because you don't want to afford that big salary. Uh, This is where we kind of come in and can fill the gap and we can actually help your business grow in that. And maybe it grows into where you need a full-time CFO. And then obviously we can still be the CFO, you know, for hiring that, in that, that uh, arrangement. But it allows us to uh, to fill to fill that. So obviously, a CFO for hire in a part time situation is going to cost you a lot less, you know, than the full time CFO. Yes, as we mentioned, full time uh, CFOs are going to be expensive. It is something that's necessary for a lot of companies because there really isn't someone else that can fulfill uh, all the needs of that position. And we would have the knowledge to come in and take care of pulling together the big picture, as Chris mentioned, uh, even if there are other people in the accounting department that may have specific or maybe lower level um, projects that they work on, uh, you need someone to pull the whole thing together. Right, right. So 
and then uh, the next level of service we talk about would be your CFO support services. So maybe you have a full-time CFO, but they just need some back office support for themselves to help them manage you know, your organization. And again, that's where we can step in in these types of services and fill that role for you. Um, so we've said a lot about the levels of service, but you know, what, what does, um, what do these levels of service uh, provide to the organization exactly? So there's several things that a CFO for hire does, and we'll kind of go through those quickly. Uh, so for instance, the first one would be forecasting and planning, and I would put budgeting under that. So they're coming in, they're helping the business, you know, forecast revenues, forecast expenses, uh, do cash flow planning. That's a big one to make sure the business is liquid in the future, to make sure it can continue operating, continue the growth, because especially as a business is growing, it's going to require a lot of cash, and cash is king. And so we're making sure that uh, we're forecasting out, you know, not just a week or two in advance, but we're talking weeks and months in advance to make sure, you know, that we're you know watching for those cash positions, for those cyclical patterns that a business may have, uh, upcoming revenues that we know we're going to have, upcoming expenses. So that way we know we're going to be uh, liquid when we need that cash to grow. Um, so we've kind of talked about you know, some cash flow planning uh, in previous episodes, but uh, that's one level of service. And then obviously, you know, budgeting. So uh, Jay, what do you think about budgeting like in a, in this situation? Well, we've always talked about for, you know, every business, you know, there needs to be a budget plan. But as you get into bigger businesses that may be growing quite a bit, uh, it gets more complex and there gets to be an even bigger need to not only have budgeting, but to have timely budgeting and to project out into the future, as Chris said, because there may be a lot of projects going on that mm -hmm. it's very critical to budget. Right. And so in addition to all of these kind of forecasting and planning and budgeting services, uh, CFO is going to be dealing with reporting to management. So whether that's to a board of directors or whether that's to, uh, you know, just an individual business owner, uh, whatever kind of organization they need to be reporting to internally for their financial reports, that's where a CFO is going to be pulling all the accounting data together, building financial reports, and then actually presenting it to to the uh, governing agency inside that organization. Uh, and that's something that as a CFO for hire, we can obviously do that, pull the accounting records together, report to management. And then in coupled with that, uh, for instance, in like nonprofits, there may be like, uh, you know, your board of directors for your, for your, uh, for your nonprofit or uh, just the board of directors in a, in a bigger company. If you've got a lot of people involved, that's where we're going to come in. Um, and obviously as a CFO for hire, we're, in tune to your books and we can we can discuss the financial results and answer questions for the business whereas the individual accountants in the accounting department maybe maybe couldn't do that yeah whoever is running things like chris mentioned either the board of directors or a business owner they're not going to be involved in the day-to-day -day, the week-to-week -week operations of the accounting department but ultimately, they are the ones that make the decisions, and they need to have timely and accurate information, which a good CFO can provide. Right. Uh, and then also a big role of a CFO in an organization is actually uh, oversight of the accounting department, you know, making sure that the uh, transactions are being recorded in the right way, making sure the workflows are working in the accounting department. And as a CFO or a CFO for hires, we come in, you know, we're making sure that you're running efficiently in your accounting department, the transactions are being recorded properly, that uh, it leads to proper reporting at the end, because obviously that's very important if the accounting department itself is not operating the right way. Financial reports and financial reporting is definitely not going to happen. And a lot of individuals in accounting departments have specific responsibilities, and they may not see the big picture at all. They only handle their small portion of everything. And you need that one person to pull it all together, see the big picture, and make sure that each and every one of those people are doing what they're supposed to be doing for the big picture. Right, because it's hard to see the forest if you're stuck in the trees here. Yes. <laughs> so that's that's kind of the point here, okay? Um, another thing that a CFO would do, uh, and especially a CFO for hire coming in, is going to be maybe looking at an internal control of the business. And this is especially important for segregation of duties. Uh, if it's a larger organization that has to have audited financial statements, making sure that their internal control 
control is working properly, segregation of duties, again, kind of comes into the accounting workflows to make sure that that's working properly because uh, especially in an audit situation where, you know, for financial statement audits, that's part of an audit is looking and can the auditor trust the internal control that's in place or can it not trust the internal control in place? And then as the organization, if you're having to pay for those audited financial statements, if they can't rely on the internal control, there's going to be a lot of more testing that they have to do on your on your records and books, which makes your audit fee go up. And so, as a you know a fill in CFO, uh, we can deal with uh, internal control and help it um, you know correct it if needed. And there are many specifics on internal controls that an owner or maybe even boards of uh, board of directors may not understand. Uh, and of course, the accounting department in general. Uh, is not going to be responsible for that overall picture. So you need that person there that understands the entire situation and make sure that everything is running smoothly. Yeah. Uh, and then I would say maybe, I'm sure there's a lot of other services that we could be offering in CFO for Higher Services, but one that other comes to mind is outside auditor management. Um, so when you've got an auditor coming in for a financial statement audit, they're going to be bringing in a team of people and they're going to need lots of records and documents and things that they need to go through and review. And that's where the CFO can is there to manage those auditors because they can help feed the information to them because if they're feeding the right information to the auditor, the auditor is hopefully there less, uh, hopefully your fee is less, and hopefully your reports to the auditors are better, your books are cleaner, uh, and that makes – uh, the auditor happy, that makes the business owners happy, the board of directors happy, that everything's functioning properly. And so auditor, outside auditor management uh, is another uh, key aspect of CFO for Higher Services. Like every other business, it's very important to have everything in order makes life easier for everyone. Yeah. So CFO for higher services, different levels of service. Again, we were talking about part-time, just you know, coming in so many times a month or so often. We're also talking about maybe filling in in a full-time role, maybe even until they hire someone for a full-time CFO. Uh, and then also back office support for CFO. And it's also important to remember that these services with modern technology can be actually uh, handled virtually that where we're actually not on site, we're just dealing with the company remotely. Uh, or if you're in a geographical area, you know, we're actually boots on the ground. We're there inside your uh, department and to where we can actually help you, uh, you know, on a weekly, daily, monthly basis, whatever the engagement uh, that we come up with um, to, 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 to benefit your business. Um, so anyways, that's kind of our CFO for higher services. Uh, I think, uh, I think they're really, uh, beneficial for growing companies, especially that aren't quite ready to hire a full-time CFO and allows us to help you and the, help the business and the business owners or the board of directors. However, uh, you know, that, that may be in your, in your situation. So Jay, do you have anything to add on CFO for hire? Uh, just that, um, you know, as businesses grow and get bigger, things get more complex, uh, there needs to be someone that's on top of everything. Uh, if you don't have someone that can fill this position, certainly we can. Yep. So if you're interested in our CFO for, CFO for Hire Services, please do not hesitate to reach out. We'd be more than happy to discuss uh, different kind of options that we can help you with. Otherwise, we will see you on the next Accounting for You podcast. Thank you for taking time today to listen to our podcast. We appreciate listeners like you and ask that if you enjoy what you hear, please like and subscribe to our channel to ensure you receive the latest episodes as soon as they come out. If you have any questions about the topic we discussed today or would like more information on becoming a client, please do not hesitate to contact our office by visiting arcpas.com or theaccountingpodcast.com.